Good evening, everybody. Everything new under the sun. Did you know the secular world had a timeline of the apocalypse? Kind of just like religions of the world have their own timelines of apocalypse. And uh, I have the timeline of the return of the Lord. And uh, in this case, um, Doomsday Clock actually agrees with me. This is out. Uh, this is from CNN, and it's showing an image of the Doomsday Clock. Uh, is a symbol that represents the likelihood of man-made global catastrophe. Manned since 1947 by the members of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, the clock is a metaphor for threats to humanity for unchecked scientific and technical advances. The clock represents hypothetical global catastrophe at midnight and the bulletin's opinion on how close the world is to a global catastrophe. So, uh, again, interesting uh, that uh, CNN is... Uh, running this, and uh, they uh, seem to agree with Bible prophecy that we are uh, nearing midnight. We are nearing uh, the very last seconds of the last minute of the last day of 6,000 years of man, the end of the uh, Gentile uh, period on the timeline of the return of the Lord. And uh, they believe something apocalyptic is uh, coming as well, I should say, the, the, uh, the scientists here. And so this is what they're saying for now. For the last three years, apparently, it's been set to 100 seconds. The doomsday clock has been ticking for exactly 75 years. But it's no ordinary clock, says CNN. It attempts to gauge how close humanity is to destroying the world. On Thursday, the clock was set to 100 seconds until midnight, the same time it has been since 2020. But it's something that uh, kicked off in 2020, which, uh, which triggered us to get closer. Probably the, the pandemic was a, a part of that. And uh, they're, they're keeping it at 100 seconds. The clock isn't designed to definitively measure existential threats, but rather to spark conversations about difficult scientific topics such as climate change. This used to be all about nuclear war um, and these existential conventional warfare uh, sorts of things that would end humanity. Uh, but of course, now in the last number of years, that they're now working other things, climate change, uh, etc. And so, I guess they they could they kind of include everything in it, anyways. The the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists um, put this together, and uh, they are keeping it unchanged. I would move it a little bit. I would at least tick it down to 99 seconds every year. We get a little bit closer to the larger term, and so it's just interesting to see the mainstream media also showing effectively a timeline of the return of the Lord, although they don't believe the Lord's returning. Uh, or bringing his wrath, but they're counting down to the apocalypse, to Armageddon, if you will, to the destruction of mankind, and uh, that's going to happen, I, I think maybe, could happen uh, in in about uh, three and a half, four years here, depending on when the seven-year period starts, and specifically when the wrath of God falls. I would think uh, that would be uh, midnight, if you will. Uh, now, as it relates to midnight, I want to add this piece to the video Ken Hoven uh, believes a slightly different thing about midnight, uh, the tribulation. So in this case, he believes the seven years comes prior to the end of 6,000. So 6,000 minus seven, and you come up with your um, date of the rapture effectively. Um, but he believes the second half of the tribulation also spans really across into the day of the Lord. So uh, I believe it's... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, three and a half years uh, on this side of 6,000, and then 1,040 days uh, of wrath, the sixth seal, uh, at the first part of the day of the Lord. So he has a kind of different understanding of how that all works, and you can see it in the chart there. So something uh, maybe we'll discuss at a, at a later date. Mainstream is uh, following um, the apocalypse, and they've got a clock to go along with it, and it is currently 100 seconds to midnight. Um, set that way in, in 2020, the world is only going to get worse. And that's what the Bible describes. And that's what you and I as Christians, uh, if we read our Bibles, if we read the last book of the Bible, if we read the end of the book, of course, uh, you, when you say that, you know how the book turns out. If you read the, read the end of the book, Revelation and various other books, Matthew, um, Luke, uh, Daniel, etc., uh, then you would know it doesn't get any better from the, from here. It gets worse and worse and worse until the red line is cross, crossed uh, by sin, the hearts of man being uh, sinful always in the world, and uh, death and destruction to where God says, okay, that's it. This is my red line. I'm going to destroy humanity again, just like he did in the flood. 
um, he, he cleaned up in the flood, and uh, he's going to do it again. But this time with fire. You know, he did it with water the first time, second time with fire. And uh, so that, that's coming, and we know it's not going to get any better. It's going to continue to get worse, wax worse, just like birth pains increase in frequency and intensity. And uh, this clock, I predict, will edge closer to midnight next year uh, if, the, if the scientists are following uh, the way the world is going properly. So we'll see how it goes. So uh, anyways, I, I, I don't want to prolong it, but uh, a quick update for you today on the Doomsday Clock for 2022.